Hi, how are you doing? Hope you're all well and safe and having a great day. I'm having a great day. As you can see, it's been snowing. First of the season, a little bit early um, for this location where we live, but uh, very welcome. It's all very Christmassy. It's putting me in the mood and I want to paint a snow scene. So now I'm back in the studio. I'm all nice and snug. Let's get straight into the painting. I fancy doing this one in realistic paint studio. So let's create a new painting. And I want to do oils. I, I like the oils in this. Uh, we need to go with this format, don't we really? I was wondering whether to change it to a square. Uh, no, let's go with this. What's the other option? I'm, I'm going with that. I'm going with that. Nice clean canvas. Oh, this is exciting. Uh, let's choose. Sure, I've got the oil paint selected. I haven't used this app for so long, so um, I don't know what I'm going to get. That looks all right. What I'll brush size up a bit. Uh, <laughs> exciting times now. Do I make this a drab, dreary, um, grey winter scene, or do I bring some colour into it? I think we can see where I'm going with this one already. Um, I am going to bring some colour into it. Just using this uh, big airy brush thing here. Just tubes, let's use colour out of the tube. Um, like in this, I'm just sort of uh, making this up as I go along. Actually, I, I'm going to go back to the picker. For me more or scope oh, I'm liking this sort of cool blue close to the warm blue which is underneath it come down to the warm end of the spectrum you see go this in right there. Um, I'm not doing sketching bit this week I just wanted to get straight in with the painting but I can see straight away I made a massive mistake um I just don't really use erasers with oil paint do you uh look at this I've gone right to the edge and really it should be sort of there like that And uh, that's it. This is my studio, by the way. Uh, what, what I'm painting here. Uh, this source photo. Oh, I've got to change back to the brush, haven't I? Um, this source photo. I I have sort of up the saturation a little bit and uh, and the contrast. Just to give me a more dynamic looking painting. I've got some sort of purple colours in the snow in the foreground. Do you want to get in? And if this is the best brush for this, what I'm doing now. Uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Yeah, I should really just sort of concentrate on uh, get, getting the, the main shapes in. I'm thinking really nice, warm, you know, really bold colours. Check that out. So 
Same on the side of this building, really. This building, my studio. This is where it all happens. This is where I have so much fun. Blue. And I am going to have to experiment because it's been months, months since I've used this, this app. And I do like it a lot. I do. So let's just, uh, see what we can get going. I don't see any need to just change up the brush yet. Zoom in on this. I can. That's cool. Uh, Realistic Paint Studio, this one, if you haven't seen this app before. Uh, it's a bit unusual. As much that they've made it look as much like uh, working on a canvas as, as you possibly can. But having said that, so it looks a bit gimmicky, but having said that, it's not. It's uh, it's a powerful app that I would recommend to anyone because n n there's no other app I know that, that does, you can get the results that you can get with this. You just get such vibrant, bright colours. Hmm. What does this do? I'll smudge these in a bit. Or blend them, I should say. I'm just... Um, really light strokes really light strokes in there Just sort of blend this together pushing the blue into the cream although I've got the cream color selected I think I need I'm going back to the other brush just for a second I need a bit of dark, darker blue in here. stepping stones I use to get up to the uh, studio let's get a big sweeping brush in there that wants to be oh, that's better sort of the shadowy bits
in this purple a bit. Some of that in there. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. I like that. That's giving a nice shadow effect. Notice, as always, I am removing all of that detail. And for, um, well, initially, I might put a bit more detail back in. I'm just sort of trying to get, set the mood of this uh, winter scene. Get a little bit in here. Right, I think I need to change a brush now. Uh, I'm liking how this is going, I must say. Liking it very much. Brushes we got. I love the way you can take these brushes and try them out. Oh, that's nice. Look at that. That one you get. You can see the brush strokes. So I'm gonna get, I'm gonna try that for a little bit. Um, snow on the top of there hmm Okay, let's um this color. Bit of an experiment going off here. Yeah, I think I should use I should um Just undo that one. I should save this brush for the snow and anywhere I want texture. Like I, I probably in the foreground a little bit. Not use it in the sky at all. Under there, Sharpen up a little bit of detail around the bottom here. And then I'm going to just pick a few branches in. I'm going to cover these all up with snow. Okay. That's 
beginning to come together quite nice. Whoops, bit too much that one. And these, this side, I'm going to change the branches to a red color. There we go. Look at that. I'm probably leave out the arch. Uh, I don't know though. I might put it in. I'm not going to put the pergola in at the back. Uh, that's not happening. There we go. Liking that. Let's uh, pick this sky color up. Not sky, sky uh, snow color. And uh, should really actually just. in there they're all coming out all over the place aren't they I'll brush down a bit just so I can put more snow on really snow up again Notice this snow isn't white. That's really important. We don't kind of go with uh, heavy white on there. It, it, it's got lots of shadows on it and gray and stuff. And I don't want to over over clutter this. Your little marks. Maybe a few little indications for that bush down there. There we go. Uh, a bit over here. Like a few. Work quite well. A few uh, lighter strokes in the, that dark colour. I think maybe the arch could tie these two shapes together. So let's uh, think about this. So following on what I was talking about last week, I said, you know, just move things around uh, for the sake of composition. That's a bit of a mess, isn't it? Try and get this in in one sweep if we can. That'll do. Like that. Yeah. Do I hack it or not? I don't know. That's just. I don't want it behind that bush. 
maybe come down like that probably Getting a bit bogged down with detail here, I think. Yeah, that ties it together quite nice, and I can like flick a few branches in here. Um, a bit too red, too red, still too red. Yeah, like that, and then maybe just you know, a little flick. I think you know what I think that's it that's another quick one done um realistic paint studio let's just get this signed it's a great little app and I love the way you can export if export it as a painting or you can uh, choose I think it's the camera so it's been a while since i've played around with this there we go look at this so it will put it in a scene like a, a virtual studio i touch the arrows and i can get a different scene it takes a, a few seconds to process that and then i can get an image that i can use uh, for my thumbnail Oh yeah totally that would be something wouldn't it i think they're new i don't remember seeing those before this is new i haven't seen that uh it's more like my studio So and we're back to the first one again. That's probably the one I'll I'll use actually. Although it is a no, it's not because it's got it's a bit dark. I want something a bit brighter for my thumbnail. Just go one more. That one's pretty good, isn't it? Let's go with that one. So on the share save image. So that's that. I uh, I can do that. Close this down, and then if I want to save the image proper, I go to um, let's save the changes. Yes, probably saved over something else. Uh, what do I do now? Hold that down, export. There we go. Uh, JPEG PNG file, and I just want the image, I don't want the frame or the background, so just the image. And then I can save that as an image as well. And then I've got them both, both versions saved. So that's it, Realistic Paint Studio. Let's only one more time. Have one more look at my finished painting. There we go. A nice snow scene. Uh, totally spontaneous because I woke up this morning and we saw all the snow so uh, that was great I'm just going to do one thing I'm just going to think I need to just make these a little bit more that's it 
smudge it a bit there. Very light touches look. There. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, a big thumbs up as always is much appreciated. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. I've got lots of videos like this and I would love to be sharing them all with you. So don't forget everybody, stay safe, stay sane, keep painting. And hopefully I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.